it's so hard not like isn't it knock isn't whatever my like, god then today i don't care i'm gonna test this out keep in mind that i'm an artist sensitive about my shit hi guys welcome back to my channel it is charity today and i am back with another video and today Oh, I clapped that loud but today I am doing a soft glam look because I feel like one I don't do many soft glam looks on my channel and two um soft glam I feel like is something a lot of people like to see here on YouTube um and I try not to do the typical like browns like the warm tones are like people's go-tos for a soft glam look. So, and I know that's my go-to. So, I didn't want to be doing, you know, something I would normally do. And I tried to switch it up a bit. So, yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. And let's go ahead and hop right in. Latte, honey. If you want a good latte, hit me up. Okay. So... To crack down on today's video <laughs> I am going to start off by priming uh -uh, what's going on why is this here noise um, I'm priming with Too Faced hangover primer hangover RX and yeah cuz I want to hydrate so and this is infused with real coconut milk 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 real coconut milk um so far it's my 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 fave you know what i'm saying i'm gonna take the cover fx mattifying primer to prime my nose because that's where i get like oily like really oily so i just take it on my nose um right above my top lip and then i'll take some and just dab it right in the center of my forehead no biggie you know next all right i'm gonna try and, and film this video in like an instagram video within this video so hopefully this work out right you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna go in with these nyx honey dew drops i love this now like it's just so bomb what is going on mm -mm. Oh my gosh, this feels so good. Like, it just feels so hydrating. I want to put some more on, but I can't do that. So good on my skin, wow. And this is my new favorite. Like, I refuse to even put it up. I keep it on my vanity. That's how good it is. So for foundation, mixing the MAC Studio Fix with the um, Born to Cloak from NYX. I love this combination. It is so bomb. Um, you only need a little bit of each. I probably lied about that because yesterday I tried to do a little bit and did not give me the coverage I needed. And watch how it's the perfect color, y'all. Mm. Oh, I love this. I mean, it's perfect. Like, who told it to be? The drops definitely take away from the coverage. So if you mix the drops into your foundation like me um you might have to go back in with another layer um the amount you normally use might not be enough um when you're using the drops just because it takes away from the coverage because i mean this is studio fix like studio fix is full coverage to the t so that's how I know it's the drops. For concealer, I am using my lovely Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 370. Uh-uh, relax. Okay. Ooh. First of all, shout out to Nikki freaking tutorials, bro. I'm proud. I'm happy for her and I wish her the absolute best and I'm just so proud of her for being able to comfortably tell her truth I will that was probably uncomfortable for her at the moment but I'm proud of her I'm so happy for her and I'll just wish her continued success because God knows that hey, she's successful oh my god whoa 
and I support it and I'm so here for it. I, I, I love her anyway. She's just, her content is always amazing and she does beautiful, phenomenal makeup. Oh, ooh, why did I, I thought I saw a bug on me. I was about to literally use by that. Yeah, I was about to see a whole nother side of me. I'm not scared of bugs. I could kill a bug, but when it comes to my being on me, oh no, no, no. That's another story. That is a whole nother, another story, honey. Dang it, I forgot sand powder, y'all. How could I do that? I'm just so pissed. I am back like I never left. All right, so I'm going to take my flower. Um, wait, what is this? This is the Beauty Bakery flower powder, Butter Not Bitter Honey, in the shade yellow. Taking that to set. Look at how flawless this powder looks. Oh wow, so beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. I love this powder. All right, moving right on to freaking bronzer. Going in with my Coco Nighty Bronzer from Fenty Beauty, honey. And then you, you just kind of, you know, put it everywhere, just dousing it, just bathing it, you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Yep, that's how that's gonna go. That's how we're gonna do that. Oh, I love bronzer. Bronzer is just so, it makes me happy. It makes me so happy. I gotta make sure I'm getting up there. Where it matters, where it matters most, you know? Ooh, yeah. For blush, I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever blush. Y'all know, I have no idea what the name of this blush is. Like, we just, we just didn't put it on here, so, yeah. They didn't put it on the bag. I'm sure if I pop it out, I'll be able to see. But, oh, that, yeah, that's a difficult task, and that's gonna take time. I love this blush, though. I put on a lot of blush because blush is the first thing to, like, fade um, when it comes to your makeup routine. Oh, I gotta bake. <laughs> Y'all tripping. All right. What are we gonna do now? We're gonna do the Ofra. Ofra Glow Up. The Ofra Glow Up. All right, so we're going in a highlighter. I'm going to use the Ofra palette, little Glow Up palette, and I'm going to take the deepest shade right here. This is beautiful. Wow, this is so cute. Just trying to figure out why is it more highlight, I mean powder on one eye than it is on the other. I just don't like when things aren't like even or um, evenly distributed. Like it really sends me into a freaking frenzy. Going to do brows now, okay? gonna do brows i'm gonna do my brows off camera so i feel like y'all know the deal all right we're back okay honey so i'm just gonna um get ready for some shadow i'm just gonna put some this fenty um concealer on my lids since the kid forgot what's this Forgot my freaking, oh my gosh, everything's acting up, like literally. Since I forgot my primer, just gonna go on with this Fenty. And I used the Fenty Brow Pencil for my eyebrows. Oh, did I already say that? In the shade Black Brown, just in case. I didn't say it, you know? It's so time to take this wig off, like so time. I cannot wait. I just needed to film this video. Let's move on to eyes. I'm hoping 
Let me see where are my brushes that I'm gonna use for today's look. I don't know why I keep singing. Uh, I, I'm always singing though. That's one thing about me. I'm always singing. My family hates when I sing though. Freaking haters. <sighs> we gonna be creating this soft glam look, huh? So I'm gonna use this Nervina palette from Anastasia and just hope for the best. I'm not gonna try, I'm not gonna do no brown. I don't wanna do brown um, because I feel like people's go-tos are brown browns when it comes to soft glam looks. So I'm going to try and not do too much of the brown look. So I'm gonna go into love. So I'm going to take love first and this is what my transition shade is going to be this little baby doll pink you know this isn't a real transition shade but it's mine because i'm just trying to switch it up and really do a soft limb look and if i would have put anything brown down this wouldn't have applied like I needed it to apply or show up like I needed it to so I'm gonna go into soul use that one next with soul I'm kind of just going to yeah put it right on top of that pink you know see where where soul gets us okay do some soul searching so I think what I'm gonna do now is deepen up the outer corner a little bit with, what is this, Volatile? Right here. I'm gonna put it on the outer and inner corner, you know? And you guessed it, it's gonna be a halo eye today, yep. I think I'm going to take a mixture of Rose Gold and Wild Child. So I'm going to go in with Rose Gold and Wild Child. These two colors. Just going to, yes, that is beautiful. Pat that in the center. We'll worry about blending it out later, of course. Okay. So now I'm gonna go in with that pink, the, what is it, wild child color. Gonna put that on top of that beautiful shade. I'm just gonna pat that on. I love it. I'm here for the soft glam. Yeah! Make sure I have properly blended those colors into one another you know no harsh edges we just want everything blending in smoothly so I think what I'm gonna do for the very last step is take passion and I'm gonna go on with the angle brush and I'm gonna uh, do a little bit of liner with that one instead of going in with just such a harsh black. I'm gonna tight line with this because I just don't think, like if you tight line with, you know, your regular black, that's cool. But as far as like winging it, I just don't think that speaks soft glam. Black eyeliner definitely takes the look up a few notches. Like, Especially a black wing, it's really going to elevate the look. I'm gonna add like an extra little like pow to the look. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? That's why you could wear a wing just by itself because you really can never go wrong with the wing. I just personally wouldn't consider it soft glam unless you were only doing a wing. 
Like I just think it's what you pair the wing with that's going to determine if it's soft glam, you know. I am winking it a little bit. On the bottom, I'm going to line with Honey Nude by ColourPop because I just want to open the eyes a little bit. Um, and then I am going to um, go in with Passion, kind of smoke it out, and then to soften it back up, I'm going to go right under that with love because everybody need a little bit of love so going to go i'm gonna glue my lashes off off camera but i'm taking anna by bella full lashes these are really pretty and wispy okay y'all so this is the soft glam look i'm just gonna tell y'all real quick what lip i have on which is toast lip liner from nyx and then i have on praline butter gloss also from nyx over that i have on maddie from buxom that is my this is my soft glam look i hope y'all enjoyed it i hope y'all really like the look you know this really is a little cute little daytime look you know what i'm saying so anyway please be sure to give this video a thumbs up comment down below let me know what you want to see from me on my channel and subscribe to my channel and then be sure to turn on your post notifications so you will be notified whenever i do upload thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all in my next one bye guys